Hi, my name is Yuzi Chen. Today I'm going to talk about the confidence interval for population mean with non-population standard deviation under normal distribution. First of all, why do we have to learn about confidence interval? Confidence interval is a method that we use sample statistics to estimate population parameters. For example, if we are curious about a population, and we want to know the population mean, which is mu, it is usually impossible for us to conduct data of each person in this population and calculate the average. In real life, what we usually do is that we conduct a sample in this population and calculate the sample mean and sample standard deviation. And we use that two numbers to estimate population parameters. In today's topic, because we're assuming that the population standard deviation is known, so we're not going to use the sample standard deviation. So what is confidence interval? A confidence interval shows how confident we are while using the sample statistics to estimate population parameters. Let's take a look at an example. So here is a 95% confidence interval. Since we are assuming that the population is normal, normally distributed, we can say that the sample that we randomly selected from this population is also under normal distribution. So in this normal distribution, as you can see on the horizontal line, it is the sample statistic. And in the, the number in the middle is the sample mean. In this case, it's 12. So a 95% confidence interval means that the area of the confidence level is 95% of the total area under the curve. And as you can see, the confidence interval ranges from 10 to 14, which means that we are 95% confident that the true population mean is somewhere between 10 and 14. So this is one way to understand confidence interval. Here is another way. If we uh, assume that the true population mean is 11.5, which is here, and we repeatedly draw samples of size n and calculate 95% confidence intervals for each of those samples, the picture will look like this. All these lines stand for a confidence interval. So these lines cover the population main, but sometimes it does, does not cover the population main. This indicates that the sample um, does not represent the overall characteristic of the population and it is doing a bad job estimating the population mean. Now I'm going to talk about the formula to calculate confidence interval. If we want to conduct a 1 minus alpha times 100% confidence interval, it should range from y bar minus z alpha over 2 times sigma over square root of n to y bar plus z alpha over 2 times sigma over square root of n. In this formula, 1 minus alpha times 100% is the confidence level. y bar is the sample mean. Sigma is population standard deviation, and n is sample size. Mm, in order to understand z alpha over 2, let's take another look at the normal distribution. So right now, our confidence interval is 1 minus alpha times 
which means that the area of the confidence interval is 1 minus alpha. Because the total area under the normal distribution is equals to 1, and since the curve is symmetric, we can calculate the area of each of the tail to be alpha over 2. So z alpha over 2 is the z score that makes the area of each of the tails to be alpha over 2. For example, let's try to look for the z score for a 95% confidence interval. So now the confidence level is 95%. And we can set the equation. 95% equals to 1 minus alpha times 100%. And we can calculate alpha to be 0 0.05. So, in this case, the area of the confidence interval is 0.95. So the area on each tail, which is alpha over 2, now equals to 0 0.025. And the z-score we are looking for is z.025. If we go to the z table, we can find that z alpha over 2, z.025 equals to 1.96. Now, let's look at an example. Um, a commonly used IQ test is scaled to have a standard deviation of sigma equals to 15. A school counselor was curious about the average IQ of the students in her school and took a random sample of 55 students' IQ scores. So the n here is 55. The average of those scores was 107.9. So this number is our sample mean. Y bar equals to 107.9. And the question asks us to find a 95% confidence interval. So um, we need to find the z score for a 95% confidence interval, which we calculated here. It equals to 1.96. And in order to calculate the confidence interval, we simply plug in all these numbers into this formula. So, it equals to 107.9 minus 1.96 times 15 over six, square root of 55 to 106.9 plus 1.96 times 15 over square root of 55. And uh, we can calculate it to be 103.9 to 111.8. And this is our confidence interval. So here comes the end of this topic. My name is Yuxi Chen. Thank you for your time.